Hey friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a full New York City apartment tour. Right now, I live in Manhattan. I've been living in this very apartment for two and a half to three years, and I am ready to show you guys my entire apartment. So if you're interested in seeing what it's like living in Manhattan and what kind of apartment you can actually afford, or if you're just interested in seeing what apartments in New York City look like, then keep watching. This video is for you and you are not gonna to wanna to miss it. Hey guys, it's Shireen aka Halal Girl New York and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me already, I am a doctor and lifestyle blogger living and working here in Manhattan, New York. I'm originally from London and right now I am a first year medicine resident right here in the city. I love sharing all things medicine, fashion, lifestyle, food, beauty, healthcare. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated on all the videos that are soon to come. I was a little bit apprehensive to finally film my apartment tour but I've been thinking long and hard about it and I really think that this video could be super insightful for some of you guys especially if you're considering applying for residency in New York if you've been offered any kind of other job in New York and you kind of want to just see what the day-to-day -day lifestyle is before we dive into the actual tour just to give you a little bit of context right now I am a first year resident and my husband is a third year resident in general resident doctors get paid roughly the same depending on which state and city you're in. Manhattan residents tend to get paid a little bit more than residents outside of Manhattan purely because it's so so expensive to live in Manhattan and we're living in a small to moderately sized one bedroom apartment on the Upper East Side. Now I know what you're gonna say the Upper East Side is such a bougie neighborhood if any of you guys have seen Gossip Girl please don't imagine that we're like Nate and Serena or like Blair and Chuck, we get so confused with all the love triangles and octagons and pentagons going on in Gossip Girl, but please do not imagine a Blair Waldorf lifestyle when you imagine us living on the Upper East Side. We're in quite an old fashioned building and it's basically one big block of apartment units that's actually subsidized by our residency program. And the reason why a lot of Manhattan residencies do have subsidized accommodations associated with them is because they know a massive drawback to actually wanting to come and live in Manhattan is the extremely expensive rent rates. So a lot of hospitals know that they need to have some kind of affiliation with certain buildings so that they can offer their residents a salary that they can actually afford to live in Manhattan on because best believe that if we did not have this subsidized accommodation there is no way we would have been able to live in Manhattan on a residency salary. Um, I've only been in residency since July 2020 so before that I obviously didn't have an income so we were both sharing one residency salary and paying Manhattan rent prices so thank goodness alhamdulillah for the fact that we did have this subsidized accommodation. Now when you guys see the tour some of you may think it's really tiny some of you may think it's huge all I can say is that everything is relative we're really happy and thankful for our little slice of Manhattan. To be honest the interior design design is not up to scratch with what I would like my apartment to look like because ever since I moved here I had been studying for my step one exams and all my US Emily exams and anytime my husband would catch me on Wayfair or CB2 or West Elm or any other furniture shop he would literally be like what are you doing? You have so many exams, can you please get off those websites? And then when I was finally finished with all of my exams, he was like, oh, we'll probably move in a year or we'll probably move in two years. There's no point in getting anything now. So I wanna welcome you guys to my apartment tour and without further ado, let's begin. Just a minute. Hey, come on in. Welcome to the Grand Apartment Tour and this is the Grand Entrance. This is where we do all the entering and the exiting. And the most important part of our entrance is my mirror, which I actually got from Target, I believe. And I love it, it's so unique. I get so many compliments on it. And you just need a mirror when you exit the apartment, I feel. Just to have that double check, check for any lipstick on your teeth. We have this little entranceway right here where we keep our ID cards, our AirPods, and our masks. And it's actually become a little bit of a little COVID sanitation center. You can never be too careful in this day and age. After the long journey from the grand entrance, we make it a few steps back to the main area in our apartment. Of course, we have a giant TV because I live with a boy and for some reason boys can't watch football on anything smaller than a 65 inch TV. I definitely didn't think it was needed, but I lost the argument as you can tell and it took up this entire wall, which I thought I was going to put some artwork on, 
but every now and then we put some cute little video of New York or something like that and it kind of does the job as like a little digital photo frame so taking a little left turn from the TV we have the lounging area where we have our famous big grandpa sofa again this was another argument that i lost when we moved to new york i thought i was gonna have a classic chic velvety maybe like a teal or like a plum purple or a space gray sofa but we ended up with an oatmeal recliner that retired granddads in like wisconsin sit on although i lost this argument when it came to style versus comfort i'm actually kind of glad that i did lose this argument because this sofa has been a lifesaver in our apartment it is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. It has a little power panel on the side right here where you can adjust the headrest and the footrest. Seatbelts on, ladies and gentlemen. And it reclines pretty far back to the point where one could feel uncomfortable looking at me right now. But trust me, this is the pinnacle of comfort. I definitely sound like a Macy's saleswoman right now. And it was a Macy's number that we managed to actually find in an outlet for half price. So. We have some side tables slash coffee tables. They're like a little nesting duo, which I whip out whenever we have guests and we need a little bit of extra table space or after dinner when we have our chai and just watch movies. We have my favorite item over here, which is my walnut wooden tripod lamp, which my husband absolutely hates. We are currently actually selling it on Facebook market because he hates it that much. And 100 people have viewed the listing in the space of two days and five people already want to buy it. So I think I won that round. So now we're in one of the most important parts of our apartment which is the study area this study area is where all the youtube editing gets done where osama does all the things that i haven't really figured out how to do yet like pay bills and pay taxes and we have this huge l-shaped desk which is also from macy's and i'm not gonna lie i actually really love it i did think it was a little bit dull and boring for me because i like really eclectic quirky pieces in my apartment which is what i always thought i would have it also supported me through a whole year's worth of studying i studied for my step one my step two ck my step two cs and my step three at this desk and at some coffee shops and some libraries but mainly at this desk so i owe this desk a lot if you look really closely into the grains of the desk you can see my tears embedded into the grains so i think that's like a really sweet touch we have a lot of books down here i'm not gonna lie a lot of it's for decorative purposes we have these huge dermatology books which i'm pretty sure sama has never opened before and we have my first aid book and my usmle books which i'll probably go and like burn in a pit fire somewhere but i'm actually keeping them for props for when whenever I finally do my USMLE journey videos and my study with me videos and all of those. Let's keep going and we're gonna go straight ahead from the study room into the dining room. Um, I'm probably gonna say this a hundred times in this apartment tour, but this is also the most important part of our apartment because it's where we consume all the goods. If any of you guys are from Manhattan, you can attest to the fact that it's quite rare to fit a dining table this big in a little one bedroom Manhattan apartment. It's a very beautiful walnut finish. Um, circular table and we have used it to death it can actually fit six chairs around it which I'm really excited about so as you can see around me we have a lot of my plant babies in this area the only reason it's in this area is because it's the only space in my apartment that actually gets any natural light I do love that there's a lot of greenery going on here but I did wish that our apartment had a lot more natural lights so those of you who've been following along on Instagram know that I became a proud plant parent in March of last year some are taller than me as you can see by this bamboo palm here and some are as tiny as this one if you are interested in a little plant tour let me know in the comments so let's take you onto the kitchen but before we do i have to point out this beautiful piece of artwork that my dear friend adil abedi made for us it has a prime location in our little manhattan apartment and it does remind me of him and the friendship him my husband and i all have so it's always great to kind of have a personal connection to the artwork in your house so moving on into the kitchen when we first moved into this apartment i didn't know how i was survive so many years in what is really quite frankly a very tiny kitchen but I have grown to love it I've learned to adapt learn to figure out multiple ways to store different things like pots and pans use every nook and cranny to like hang up our vacuum cleaner and lids to pots in the future inshallah one day I would love the kind of home that has like an open kitchen and one of those cute fancy islands that you can have bar stools and like host people and like put cute little spreads on but for now this is what I have and it does the job and I do really love what I 
have. We have the cooker, the stove, the fridge. There's not too much to say. Thankfully got really lucky with the cupboard space. I've come to learn that having counter space on each side of the stove is actually a pretty big deal. So I do have to count my blessings. It is a small kitchen, but it does the job. So I'm actually gonna leave the kitchen from the other entrance, or you could call it the exit, I guess. Um, so let's head back to the main hallway. Moving swiftly on you guys, we've done the living room, the study, the dining room, the kitchen, and the grand entrance. Now here we have the one and only OOTD outfit of the day hallway. You guys might recognize it from my Instagram stories, but this walnut mirror here, which is actually also from Target, whenever I do a haul for you guys, a fashion try on or anything like that, I use this floor length mirror and I actually often do my makeup here. So this little section of the apartment, believe it or not, is somewhere where I spend a significant amount of time when I'm not at work, not cooking or like not just chilling and watching TV. So moving on into this hallway, I actually had a piece of artwork up here but we used command strips to hang them up so that we didn't get in trouble with the landlord and actually fell down recently. So we have some cute little pieces from the New Yorker here, which I bought when we first moved to New York and they remind me of like the first couple of months of us living here. So even though this is such a typical touristy thing to buy in New York, I think I'm always gonna keep it. So here we have the bathroom. It is a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. So my husband and I do have some fights in who can jump into the bathroom first in the morning. Honestly, not much to say about the bathroom. I don't know what else anyone would include in a bathroom apartment tour. We have a mirror, got all my toothbrush, toothpaste and stuff in there. I have a few cute little pieces up on the walls. This is the most essential part of any bathroom. If you know what this is, comment below because I have had a few of our friends come over be very confused why we have a jug in the toilet. And the last stop in our Manhattan apartment tour is the bedroom. We actually got quite lucky with the size of the bedroom. I don't know if it translates on camera, but it's actually quite a long bedroom. Right here we have my dresser. I don't use it too much. It mainly has some of my favorite jewelry pieces out, a little bit of skincare, our perfumes. But like I said, I do most of my makeup out in the corridor. I don't actually know why. I feel like the lighting is just a bit better out there and I don't know if that's in my head. So onto my side of the bedroom. This entire closet is full of my stuff. My husband was so nice that he kind of let me just have the entire bedroom closet and he took the hallway closet for his stuff. Which he is let you. He didn't really have a choice in the matter and I kind of forgot that he's the one filming this right now. Um, bit of a brain fart there. And on my side of the bedroom, I have like this little decorated piece. It's like one of those ladder shelves, which I know is super in fashion, but I actually thrifted this. So I just kind of decorated this, put a few perfumes. I have my Quran out here when we have like our Quran sessions on Zoom with some of my friends in London. And then I just have a few little bits and pieces that I think look really pretty. Not much to say on Osama's side of things. He literally just has a bedside table with an alarm clock and a lamp. He's very minimalist and I kind of like that about him. Here you could say is the main attraction in our bedroom, which of course is our home gym and it is the Peloton. We got this baby quite recently. I would say around six months ago. I actually love it. It does take up like half of our bedroom. It was a long discussion and we felt like we really needed this for our health ever since the gym's shut and it's just way too cold to be running outside. So Peloton has been a lifesaver when it comes to our fitness. Of course in Manhattan, every room has multiple purposes. So we double this up as our prayer room. We've got the gym, we've got the bedroom. And right here we have this clothing rack, which I actually got kind of to sneakily extend my wardrobe. As some of you may know, I am a Figs ambassador and I work with Figs which is a medical apparel company. And I basically am lucky to have like every single color, but it's my daily school uniform ever since I started residency. So I'll roll out of bed, crawl over here, and then pick up a color, whatever mood I'm in. And then I'm basically ready for work. Osama does not like this, but I've used it so much in my fashion hauls, in my IGTV videos and all of that. I actually spray painted this gold myself and I did the same for this lamp over here. I just think it's a really cute way to make some pieces look a little bit more high end. For example, if you have like a black Ikea lamp or a silver Ikea lamp, try spray painting it gold and see what a difference that will make. Some of you with a keen eye may recognize this 
this section of the bedroom as my YouTube background video. And that is the end of the apartment tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I think you will love some of my other videos, so don't forget to check them out. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. It really helps me out and I love reading your comments so much. They genuinely make my day and I try to reply to each and every one of you guys. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.